What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and major announcements coming out from President Joe Biden on splitting the stimulus bill in two separate parts, passing one now, passing another later. I'm gonna let you know what's been prioritized, what's unfolding, a lot happening. This is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and breaking news update. And take a look, you guys. Biden calls on Congress to immediately pass major Ukraine aid package before more pandemic funding, saying we have got to get this assistance out to Ukraine immediately. We can take a look at more pandemic funding here in just a second. But you guys, we're hearing that things are intensifying with Russia and Ukraine, which is going to be impacting our economy here domestically. And people are saying we need stimulus checks, gas stimulus checks, child tax credits, free college tuition, free child care, and assortment of different provisions to help out at this time. As we're hearing prices, they're not going to be coming down anytime soon. And take a look. Here is what it would take for another stimulus check to come in 2022, summarizing essentially that things are gonna have to intensify with our economy and inflation and Congress will have to unify behind it. Now also, we're hearing that this might be needed in perspective with the pandemic. As take a look, you guys, we're starting to see an increase in cases, 110,000 new cases yesterday with the seven day moving average at 73,000. It is going up. We are seeing more and more cases and we've received warnings of this that come fall and winter, it is very likely we could see another surge of the subvariant of Omicron. So they're saying that we need more funding and they're saying that more is going to be on the way. President Joe Biden is saying he is going to deliver. However, we don't have a lot of Republican support for more spending due to concerns of high inflation and adding to the nation's debt. Also, through the process of reconciliation with a majority vote, Democrats are not unified in passing it either. There are several moderate Democrats saying they cannot support more spending because they are too concerned about this record high inflation and making things even more expensive. So what they're saying is they are trying at this time to get Senator Joe Manchin on board to pass certain provisions to get through more assistance to people. However, if they cannot do so and in a timely manner before the midterm elections in November, we're hearing that President Joe Biden is also saying he's taken into consideration stepping up on his own, bypassing Congress and legislation and doing executive orders and executive actions for more provisions. Now, I will keep you up to date here on the channel and let you know what's going to be unfolding, but I've got video footage and these articles to get you caught up on that we're hearing that stimulus is going to be split apart. They're going to pass Ukrainian aid now and pass other provisions to help with pandemic funding coming up here very soon. So let's go ahead and dive right in, but also wanted to mention the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. If you're interested in growing wealth, learning about personal finance, how to get some uh, more assistance for yourself without Congress, consider joining that channel. I'll pin a comment down below. Click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications. I hope that channel is a blessing to you as well. And if you appreciate this content here on this channel, don't forget before we dive in, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free, why not? Come join the Ram fam. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. If you got any specific specific questions for me. I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Just hop on Instagram, shoot me a DM at steveram3. And with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the video footage and see what President Joe Biden is planning for more stimulus. A deal has apparently been reached to separate COVID funding from President Biden's new multi-billion dollar aid request for Ukraine. I want to bring in uh, Sahil Kapoor, who is with us now from the Hill. So Sahil, this is just into us now. And this is um, this is a move that I think had been some some folks on the Hill had wanted to see. Talk us through it. That's right, Hallie. Congress appears to have just cleared a path to passage for uh, President Biden's massive Ukraine aid package. Now, recall, this had been jammed up over the last couple of weeks because uh, congressional leaders wanted to attach COVID relief funding, which Republicans in the Senate had uh, promised to filibuster over demands of an immigration amendment. The entire package had been stalled, but now uh, congressional sources tell our colleagues Frank Thorpe and Julie Serkin that the president has communicated to congressional leaders that he wants the Ukraine package to pass separately. That would clear a path. It has broad bipartisan support in the House where it's likely to originate, as well as the Senate. And the second bit of news, it has grown. It was initially 
33 billion. It is now nearly 40 billion with the increases coming on about three and a half billion for food aid and another three and a half billion for additional drawdown authority for military equipment. A major piece of, uh, of President Biden's domestic ask of Congress right now has a path forward. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as they are splitting the two apart. They tried to pass them tandem so they could pass Ukrainian aid and pandemic funding together, but they're splitting them apart because it is urgent to get the Ukrainian aid right now. And then they're gonna be working on more assistance, pandemic funding, more stimulus provisions. And the article says, take a look, more details. President Joe Biden urged Congress on Monday yesterday to quickly approve a multi-billion dollar aid package for Ukrainian aid before trying to pass a new round of pandemic funding, warning that the U.S. aid for that country's fighters has nearly been exhausted. Biden's new position marked a reversal from his insistence last month that the military aid and the pandemic funding be bundled together. So going and saying originally we wanted to pass this through as a strategy to get more funding passed, but now realizing it's not going to work and having to break the two apart. Decoupling the two bills significantly increases the chances that Congress will pass $33 billion in requested Ukrainian funding, while also dimming the hope of $10 billion in pandemic funding relief that Biden said was necessary to supply vaccines and shots for this fall. As we're hearing, a new wave is likely going to be on the way, and it could be a significant sub-variant of Omicron, causing a lot of people to get sick during the winter and fall. Previously, I had recommended that Congress take overdue action on much-needed funding for pandemic treatments, vaccines, and tests as a part of Ukrainian supplemental bill, putting the two together. However, I have been informed by congressional leaders in both parties that such an addition would slow down actions that is urgently needed for Ukrainian aid, a view expressed strongly by several congressional Republicans. And we cannot afford to delay this vital war effort. Hence, I am prepared to accept that these two measures move separately so that Ukrainian aid bill can get to my desk right away. Biden, on April 28th, had asked Congress to allocate $33 billion intended to cover humanitarian and military aid for Ukraine through September. Under Biden's proposal, nearly two-thirds of that sum would go towards security military assistance for Ukraine as it fends off the invading Russian forces. And in his statement on Monday, yesterday Biden said the additional funding is both necessary and urgent, with money for shipments to Ukraine set to run out in just 10 days' time. I have nearly exhausted the resources given to me by bipartisan majorities in Congress to support Ukrainian fighters. This aid has been critical to Ukraine's success on the battlefield, and we cannot allow our shipments of assistance to stop while we await further congressional action. His statement acknowledged that while there appears to be bipartisan support for the aid package, there is no such consensus for pandemic funding. Republicans have opposed Democrats' efforts to pair the money for Ukrainian aid with additional pandemic relief funding. So I call on Congress to pass Ukrainian supplemental funding bills immediately and to get it to my desk in the next few days. And then I urge Congress to move promptly on pandemic funding. He stressed that more congressional action is required to address the pandemic. Without timely pandemic funding, more Americans will die needlessly, he said. In the fall, if we are hit by a new variant, it will be too late to get the tools needed for protection. Critical treatments that will be available in Europe, but not in the United States. And we're hearing it is very likely that this subvariant is going to ramp up, and they're saying more funding is going to be needed. And if not, it looks like we could be going backwards in our battle against the pandemic, and we will see how Congress responds. Now, if Congress does not take action and provide more treatments, more pandemic funding, well, then it's very likely we're hearing that that subvariant is going to be hitting around the fall and winter time, and it's very likely a lot of people are going to be getting sick at the same time, likely overrunning hospitals, having more people having to quarantine all at once, again, disrupting our economy and shutting things down. And if that is the case, there might be the argument again for more stimulus. Take a look, you guys. Here's what it would take for another stimulus check to hit in 2022. And pretty much the key points, just gonna let you know, rising prices have left many Americans struggling. We're hearing that with the war in Ukraine, the supply chain issues, the lockdowns in China, 
Those prices don't look like they're going to be coming down anytime soon. Many people have signed a petition requesting another check. There is a lot of support in the nation for more checks, a lot of people requesting reoccurring checks, and a lot of people though saying no, stop the spending because inflation is out of control. There would have to be the appropriate support in the House and in the Senate in order to make stimulus pass. So in order to do it with bipartisan efforts, the traditional means, we need Democrats and Republicans at this time. It looks like there is not that support there. So they would have to pass it through the process of reconciliation like we saw with the American Rescue Plan. Now at that time, at this time as well, there is not the support there. We're seeing Democrats are trying to get those moderate Democrats on board. But if not, there is also the option of executive orders and actions from the president. So we're going to see you guys. And also, this is a midterm election year. So Democrats who are in full control want to stay in control and they might try to incentivize voters to keep them in power by providing direct assistance. Very, very likely a key element here that this is a midterm election year. Now we will see, and I will keep you up to date, you guys, but we're hearing that they're working a way to try to get things done, and I'll let you know what unfolds. So you guys, that is the latest on stimulus provisions and bills being split in Congress, passing some now, passing some later, but working a way to try to get things done. And I will keep you up to date as things unfold here on the channel. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the Ram fam. I'll let you know everything that's unfolding. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.